Hi, welcome back to my channel, Karina here. And if you're new, welcome. I am Karina and I love to paper craft. And if you haven't subscribed and would like to do it so, click the subscribe button and tap that bell so you can get notified when I upload videos. And today it's December 2nd and it's my Christmas series episode number two. So today we have a project. As you all know, I love Christmas and I love to make handmade ornaments. So today we're going to make this cone Christmas theme ornament. Isn't this beautiful? Look at all the detail, a lot of textures, some beads. And yes, I um, check my stash and use some of the things that I have bought this year and also I had things from the past years as well. If you want to see my Christmas stash I will leave the link of the video in the description box below. So let's start with the process of how to make this gorgeous cone snowman Christmas ornament. This is going to go on my Christmas tree and let's start. So what would you need to do this? Of course, you need the regular staples. I use silicone glue instead of hot glue. I got burned once and <laughs> I only got burns once, not twice. So also I'm using my tiny attacher or if you have like a smaller stapler, that will be fine. And for the cone, the base of the cone, I am using The pink plate paper that came in this collection of Holly Jolly Christmas by Echo Park. I bought this at Tuesday morning a couple of months ago. And we will use, of course, these cute little snowmen that I bought at Hobby Lobby. Let's bring here a couple of Christmas um, flowers. I bought this uh, trim at Joanne's Fabric a couple of months ago. I got in my stash these doilies, red and white. These are both bony. Some of the golden uh, eyelash trim or yarn that I bought at Hobby Lobby. Some baker's twine. I am using also these two pins that I had in my stash a couple of years ago. One little pom-pom and one bead. And more ribbon from Hobby Lobby and uh, Joanne's Fabric as well. Purchased these like long time. So these were part of my stash. And of course um, I'm using um, squirt tape. I have like already cut the strip just to save time and so let's start with the process what I do first so the first step is I have to do this cone what I did was I cut the paper and I will give you the dimensions it is it's a triangle six inches by seven and a quarter inches and what I did was um, to make the cone since I want the size to be the outside so uh, what I did was you see this part is a little bit longer I just fold it and will glue it not with the silicone glue but with the tape so what I'm going to do is use my score tape this is a very strong tape I love it love to use this one and cut it here and then I'm going to fold it so it will look like a cone there is your cone 
and nicely comb and then you have this part I'm going to cut it just simple nothing fancy we will cover these seams with a tape and then this part the back cut it just to make it a little bit even and here is my comb and now we are going to get the two doilies red and white since I want my red to show and the Y will be on top so what I'm going to do is I am going to just staple the middle because I want this to be more dimensional let's fluff it a little bit more and then I am just going to go ahead and staple around the doilies just a tiny little one here another one here the side hope you guys can see and another staple here good so we have the doily kind of cute now I have to attach the this loop that will be the how you will hang your ornament so what I do is I take my ribbon and I already have a, a um, pre-cut loop and it measures 12 inches so what I'm going to do is I'm going to staple it here on, on the sides and I'm going to staple the other side, the other loop, a little bit longer. Okay, so we got the loop here and now the fun part it's going to be <laughs> we have to add this little guy the snowman and what I do just to cover all the um, some of the staples here I use my trim from Hobby Lobby or you can use any eyelash trim yeah, you want to just create the effect of texture and like a bed for the little guy to hang around so I fold it and I'm using my baker's twine or you can use even a, a thread you want to be more cleaner on this so baker twine in the middle I'm gonna cut this size here and okay now I am going to put this bed here almost looks like a bird nest and I am going to glue it use again my silicone glue or if you have fabric tag and just put a couple of drops around and it will glue we got some sparkles here now the little guy my little snowman I'm gonna glue it and you're wondering how the snowman is going to stay still right so what I do is oops it's put my little buddy here and I am going to use some of these pins 
to hold him on the back so he stays still. There we go. And there's my little guy. Okay, so now we need to cover the staples. So I will use the trim here. I bought this trim, I believe, at Joanne's Fabric. They had like a big sale a couple of months ago. And it's just like so good. It's gorgeous. So I will just put this trim around and just eyeball it and cut it. The same size and what I do is my little guy I'm gonna put another pin for him like if he had a one or something there we go and now we are going to glue the edges okay so here it is I glue the trim and we have to do a flower. So I picked this flower. This is uh, from uh, Prima Marketing. I know it's quite big, so I think I'm gonna use this little one. Way much better. And I'm gonna glue it. Glue it in the center so it looks cute. And then you see here, this one has a, th a seam um, on the back and I'll do that. See, and I'm going to glue my, my seam on the back. But before I do that, I have to do the bottom. You see how this one had the beads and the pom-pom? So I am going to use one of these pins that you can get in any, um, even a flower shop and I'm going to use a pom-pom that you can get at any craft store. And actually I will put first the bead, then the pom-pom in the center. And then I'm gonna stick some glue on the edges of this pin so it will stick. And glue it there. So it's gonna hold for a while. It's gonna dry. We gotta let it dry. And you see how they have these the combed was not uh, truly closed, but I am going to use this ribbon and I am going to cut it. I'm just eyeballing things. And I am going to glue it. on this theme. So we covered in the imperfections. Yeah. Yeah. Covering the imperfections and I will start here. And do that. And this little flower, I have to let it dry. And I'm going to, my hands are full of glue. So once it's dry, 
this is your final product. It looks cute, the pom-pom sticks. You have your little snowman. So now I have two ornaments that will go in my Christmas tree. I will be doing a tour of my craft room, how I decorate things for Christmas. I love Christmas, so. And this is your project. It's your very cute Christmas cone with your little guy, a snowman. And again, it's pink and red and white because I, this year, I'm going to be doing pink and some of the Christmas traditional colors as well. Okay, so this is the final product and I hope you like it. If you like this video, just don't forget to give the thumbs up, share this video with any of your friends and family, and if you haven't done so, click that subscribe button and tap that bell so you can get notified when I upload videos. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video. Bye!